All right, first of all, my name is Kenneth Burton, the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I'm going to show you that you are cheating your projector. You're cheating. You're actually cheating your projector. You're downsizing your projector. You're not getting the quality performance from your projector. And I'm going to show you with our technology a huge, not a, a small wow factor, I'm going to show you a huge wow factor on how our technology can advance your projector's capability. Now keep in mind, our nanotechnology has uh, smart technology gain and it has color enhancement technology. But I'm going to show you the advancements of this. Now, I know you're probably looking around thinking what's going on in this environment. I'm in the process of actually changing over my projection screen uh, to a fixed frame screen. So I'm going to be doing a fixed frame screen, got my blackout cloth tools, everything I need to get started. And this is going to be coated with the new Eclipse Invisible Dark Silver Nano. This is what you're seeing right here. That's a dark silver nano right there. Now, for those of you looking at the screen, it's probably thinking, well, that screen is black. It's not black. It's actually a very interesting form of dark gray. I'm going to take my sample sheet, put it against the screen back up and you can see that the screen is a very dark gray but it has that particular nickname for other interesting reasons now i'll show you how much light we have in the environment i'm going to do this with the lights on lights off and with the window open now my projector sits back from where my living room is around 14 feet we're going to be using again a full 1080p projector view sonic at 3200 lumens at 14 feet back. Now for those of you who own 1080p, 720p projectors, it doesn't make a difference. I'm gonna show you by using a white wall, white projection screen. This is where you're cheating your performance. There's, I know, plenty, I, do a, I do a lot of business with churches um, and um, office environments. We have a lot of condensed lighting, a lot of lighting on the screen. And you know, you're using that white projection screen and you're really thinking you're getting the best of your ability, you're not. You're really failing your projector. You're cheating your projector's performance, and it's a shame. So I'm going to show you in this demonstration where you can get the best and the most from your projector. Now, first of all, let's remove. Now, I've done this video already, but I'm doing it again just to show you how much you're losing from your picture quality. Now, keep in mind that right there is a black silver nano. Over top, this right here, this is a platinum slate nano. Now even the platinum slate nano has a better picture quality than the white wall. This is what you get from a white wall using a 1080p projector at 14 feet back. That's what, you actually, that's what you're actually getting. Now for some reason, when you're looking at that, without all this here, you probably would think the picture quality looks absolutely amazing. But this is what you're losing. Now, using our black silver nano, we have the ability to add more depth into the picture. You can see here and here there's more depth into the picture. Now, next thing we're going to do, let's take our lights out. We'll do this in the dark and we'll show you even with the lights out, using a white wall or white projection screen, how much of your picture quality you're losing. Now look at the difference between the picture quality here on just the silver. There's the silver versus your white wall. You're just losing so much color. You're losing a lot of color. The picture looks washed out. It doesn't look like it's, it doesn't give you the best performance. Now, when it comes to an invisible nano, an invisible nano uses a form of smart technology gain times 12 and color enhancement times four. Now look at the, um, the um, visible nano. This would be our black silver. Now that's when I build my screen this is the technology I will be using, and that's the kind of performance I'll be getting from my 1080p projector. Even if I'm using the Platinum Slate, that's the performance that I'm getting. Now, let's come over here because, you know, like I said, this is my living room. I do not plan to be in the dark with this. Let's open up our windows, let some light in. All right, because there's no point in having windows in your house if you're not going to let any of that beautiful light come in. Now, we have light coming in. And you can see still the picture quality looks fantastic on our screens. We don't lose any color. 
It looks absolutely fantastic. And we don't have a lot of light coming in. It's still early in the morning. When we get around, around, I'll do another demonstration if I have time. And we do, if we have, if I have the time, I'll do another demonstration. But if we get around maybe 12 noon, we have a lot of light that pushes through that window. Now look at that black silver. Now keep in mind the black silver is going to be available. It's going to be available, I think it's on the 26th. We're going to have it in two quarts, one gallon, and we're going to have it in uh, two gallon containers. And it will come with a Wagner paint sprayer. To show you the depth that we get off the screen. It literally looks like that you can just walk right into it. It's like a doorway, doesn't it? Come over here on my squeaky floors. We'll come over here into the dining room. We're actually a little farther in, I'll be in the dining room. And you can see the picture quality I'm getting off that black screen. Well, not black screen, sorry, black silver. Can't call it a black screen. And that's what I'm getting. Okay. Let's go up the staircase for a minute. Now, just like I said, the only way that white screen, the only way that light gray screen is going to look good in a fully lit environment, actually in a dark, and actually, I'll tell you the truth, the only way that screen's gonna look good, you're gonna have to have it in the dark. The only way you're gonna be able to use and get that color to somewhat look presentable, you're gonna to have to be in the dark, and this is what I'm talking about. This is why you see a lot of demonstrations with a lot of these screens sitting in the dark, because that's the only way the screen is gonna perform well. It has to be in the dark. And they do it with any kind of form of lighting hitting the screen, they lose picture quality, it starts to fade. Now look at that 1080p projector at around 14 feet back. And that's your picture quality with the lights on. Now the only way you'll be able to get a decent picture, you're gonna to have to come over here, you're gonna to have to shut your blinds. Number one, you're gonna to to turn out your lights in order to get the screen. See how much the picture quality faded? Look at this. On 1080p. See how orange, how tannish it looks discolored when it comes to the contrast. That's why with a lot of these screen paints out here that have not been properly tested, that refuse to do these kind of demonstrations, this is where you'll be sitting at. If majority of those videos are done in the dark, if the high points of those screen, the screen is looking fantastic in the dark, that's where you're gonna be at, in the dark with your screen. And you're gonna to have to subject your friends and family to this environment in order to enjoy your screen. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration of Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Streams using smart technology game, showing you our amazing nanotechnology. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. Let's uh, do something real quick. I'll pop out of here just a minute. I got something set up over here. I'm gonna change out my fish. Something a little bit more, little more blues in it, because I'm gonna show you the blue technology. And this this screen is absolutely incredible. Look at the blue technology and a black silver. And even a platinum silver makes a white wall look like trash. It does.
but it's fully open. Showing you the advancement of this technology. Alright, thank you all for your time. You all have a good one.